Hello, everyone. Um, now I'd share my topic with each other. Ironic and SD integration in, in our um, bare metal cloud. Uh, so the agenda is uh, three parts. The first part is focus on our goals. The second, second part is focus on the topology. The second is our demo video. OK. Um, we have built a two, uh, uh, we have built a public cloud with two resource pool uh, last year. Now we are building a, um, we are building a larger private cloud with two resource pool. One is a um, whole hot resource pool. Another is a higher being resource pool. These two resource pool, we have some considerations. One is about uh, how about to um, customize our application. The second is uh, about uh, network automation. The third is about uh, network as, uh, as solution and uh, security. The fourth is about uh, HOA. Let's go through our parameter server configuration. We have one BMC NIC, two, two, thousand, two thousand G NICs, and uh, two ten G network NICs. This topology is uh, our overview. From the left side, we have uh, We have a management zone, and the right side is our DMZ zone and uh, test zone and uh, call zone. Uh, all the BMs are located in the three zones. Okay. This is the view of a BM collection. This collection is to our OOB led work of just for RPM control. The bottom is uh, for our data networking. The upper is uh, management networking. In this uh, talk, we focus on the two 10G leaks, just this one. And the network consists of one online network just for storage and uh, multiple offline networks. Um, for ins inspect and uh, provision and the tenant. <laughs> the storage network is uh, VLAN encapsulation solution and the overlay level is uh, VXLAN encapsulation. solution. This is a topology from the Ironic load. This Ironic is uh, run Ironic API server and uh, service and Ironic conduct service. Besides uh, this, Ironic uh, inspect service also running this load. This load also have uh, three type of network. Uh, OOB for RPMI control. Data network uh, just for Ironic API network and, uh, and uh, inspect network. This network is uh, VLAN type, but uh, in the tool switch is mapping to a VXLAN network. OK, let's go through the inspection phase. The first is, uh, the first is we, we start a request to do inspect for, uh, for a BM node. The ironic, uh, we are pound the BM or RPMI protocol. Then the BM we are put by PXC. Then it's uh, do hardware connection, hardware information connection. Once this uh, information is connected, then it's uh, called the then it's called Ironic Inspector API to continue the processing. 
Once the process is finished, then power this BM. We are we will show the detailed process in the demo video. This phase is about a tenant per phase. It's just about two sub phases. The, uh, the first phase is about uh, provisioning a BM. The second is the uh, network switch off. This is a brief in introduced about our ironic little work configuration. We have two NICs. One is a point four dot fifty. Another is a point four dot four. This is for in space network. Ironic load can communication with each BM so via this network. Another is ironic API network just for BM provision. This network is a only for BMs use. Okay, I'll show you a demo video. Now I create a chassis just for demo. Currently, there are no any nodes. Okay, create a fir the first load. The Second note. The third note. Now we have three loads created. Then I set the previous letter to a manager. Okay, the province that we change to manageable. Currently, there are no port exists and no port group exists. Okay, I open the KVM console. I will open all the three Kevin concerts for month. Okay.
Now all the BM nodes we are in inspecting status. Just look here, inspecting. This uh, BM is power one, and another is also. <laughs> okay, let's move. The BM will try to PX boot. Just wait a moment. Um, this is the BM PX Indic IP address. And go ahead. Just the debug message should we we must connect the correct LDP information for false use. Okay, RPA posts the connect data to our new inspect service. Okay, this BM is finished the inspect. <laughs> now we can see the, we create uh, four ports.
after all the, these three nodes uh, finish the inspecting, we, are, we can see there are uh, three pod groups. Okay. Hold. Now there are three pod groups. Okay, I check the pod list. As the result shows, the local link connection has the result. They present the chassis ID and the port ID. And uh, these two, uh, these ports are associated with the pod group. Any question here? What? what vendor switches are you using? Which switches? Oh, uh, this switch is uh, mm, is our our win winda provides <laughs> in in our resort pool we can we we have uh, Huawei, New Age, and uh, ZT network switches. Okay, the introspection video finished. The second video is about uh, BM provisioning. First, I check the image UID. <laughs> then to load the upload, to insert the deploy kernel and the RAM disk. They inside the BM2 provider sled. <laughs> okay, so we should do a demo tenant. Here, we, we have a provision network. I don't know any instance. Now I create the first demo network and another. <laughs> and then create the subletters.
Now I have, we have two tenant networks. Okay, let's put some instance. The first instance use the demo net e, net one. The third instance use another tenant network. Okay, let's watch the ironic load states and the uh, law instance. Here we can see the, the new PXC API address. As you, as you maybe remember, our inspection PXC IP address is also different, uh, is different with this one. Okay, the PM is uh, in deploying image. Okay, this one is uh, deploy finish.
the incidence that is changed to active. Okay, let's check the Newton port. This is the tenant port. Now the BM put from hard disk. Demo led one is a weak sign network. The, the VID is this. The other network is also the weak sign network. This provision network is just uh, for ironic uh, cannot use. <laughs> and uh, the demo net one and the dem demo net two is for tenant use. <laughs> and uh, this ironic uh, API network is for ironic uh, node used to communicate with uh, BMs. Okay, these two networks also very same network. During the PXC boot, uh, the BM node will get uh, this range, uh, this RB address from this range. This is a, uh, this is a road, road table in our unique load.
these are the results from the admin tenant. So we need to add this argument to see the instance. Now I log into the BMOS. And uh, try to test the net networking connection. Also, is a pin that get away. Unreachable. This is the same. The getaway IP is unreachable. And uh, ping another network uh, is also the unreachable. So we need to add a uh, create a uh, uh, to connect each other. And uh, in, in and the interface to this route uh, without. Okay. As you can see, the gateway IP is reachable. And another interface. <coughs> the gateway IP is reachable. <coughs> Here we check the ARP table. As we can see, the MAC address is not the virtual MAC. As we know, the prefix is the FA. Uh, 16. And we can see it can be this BM. Now we can see the two sublets can pin each other.
Let's check the road table in BM. Okay, the video is uh, finished. Any question here? How to deploy? <laughs> you mean deploy the basic components or provision multiple incidents? Uh, you can use the uh, a uh, script to do lower boot or another way you can you can use. So, um, I actually I don't see the great differences between this approach and just using triple O for the very same. Triple O uses this. Yeah, for sure triple O uses this, but. Um, to be honest, it would be much easier to use triple or it's only well, five this, commands. So tri this, this is for deploying instances as a normal user, not for installing OpenStack. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Okay. Any more questions? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah. sorry. I didn't okay. see the microphone. <clears throat> so you mentioned earlier that you're using um, some physical switch on the hood, etc. Have you done any integration yet with uh, through new uh, Neutron to actually connect through so you can use SDN through the switches directly? And have you done any performance testing through this from the end-to-end -end pipeline side of things? Uh, okay. Uh, this video shows we we use a uh, pod group to um, bind the two individual network links. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> we can see uh, the pod group here. And the second is uh, about, uh, about the how to control the SDN controller. And just how we choose, uh, once we use the pod group, we should uh, define the MAC address of the pod group. Yeah. So we, we do some changes in our only conduct code to, to tell new, new trend. Um, to, to tell Neutron to pass the uh, knock link connection to SDN controller, and the SDN controller can control the access tool switch and uh, program the correct uh, flow tables. Yeah. What, what SDN controller do you use? Um, okay, just as the uh, previous question, as we, we have different uh, vendors such as uh, Huawei, New Edge, and uh, ZT. Um, yeah, uh, as we know, community has a project named uh, generic uh, switch drive, um, but this drive can only program the uh, tool switch with uh, VLAN creation, initiation, and uh, port 
add our denitors. So the switches are pre-configured? Yeah. Okay, thank you.